that come into a comfortable position. You can sit on a chair if you want to, or sit on a block as I am doing. And just bring your left thumb and forefinger together. Just bring your finger to the tip, the crease of the thumb. Rest the hand on your thigh. With your other hand, fold your fingers in. And we're going to block the right side. You're going to breathe in through the left side. Hold for a second. And you're going to breathe out through the right side. Hold the breath out for a second. You breathe in through the left. Hold it. And breathe out through the right. Hold the breath out. Let's do that a few more times. Breathe in as deeply as you can through the left side. Hold the breath in for as long as you can. And breathe out through the right. And breathe out for as long as you can. And again, hold the breath out for as long as you can. You might find you can hold the breath longer than you realise. Before you take the next breath in. And as you breathe in, imagine filling your lungs, feel your ribcage expand. Again, hold the breath in for as long as you can. See if you can hold it a little bit longer than last time. Then when you need to, breathe out. And as you breathe out, keep breathing out till you feel your belly button start to pull in. Then hold the breath out. Breathe in again. Feel your lungs expand, feel your ribcage expand. Again, hold the breath in. When you need to, long breath out. And keep breathing out till you feel your tummy muscles tighten. Hold the breath out for a second. And release it. And just making a light fist. You're going to tap up the inside of your arm and down the outside. Up the inside, down the outside. Get the energy flowing. Make sure it's a light fist. Keep yourself up. And just on the top of the shoulder, side of the neck and the back of the shoulder, as far as you can reach. Across the chest. Oh, you can do a noise if you want to, you don't have to. Nice and light. It's great if you've got a chesty cough, it literally does kind of loosen things up in there. And then on the other side. Up the inside, down the outside. Top of the shoulder, and the back of that shoulder, side of the neck, and as far as you can reach, basically. And then just across the chest. Oh, and on your belly. In a circle, because that's how our digestive system works. Circular. On the side of the ribs, up and down the rib cage, get as far as you can reach, and then your lower back, especially around your kidney areas, your lower back. Again, just go as far as you can reach. And release, and just begin to stroke down your arm and off the end. And notice when our bodies are covered in nerve endings and we respond well to touch. Also touch changes our physiology, which is why things like hugging, cuddling make us feel better. And that's the whole reason we have nerve, en nerve endings, because we're designed to respond 
to touch. Just notice how my arm feels compared to the other side. And the same on the other side. Just working down the front and back of the arm. You're breathing nice and deeply as you're doing it. And when you go back, you're just going to squeeze. Squeeze your way down. You might find some areas a little bit sore, a little bit kind of tender. You might find some knotty bits. Knotty as in not. Naughty as in ill behaved. <laughs> They're very naughty. <laughs> and do the same on the other side. You know, I can feel my biceps there a little bit tender. Sometimes we don't realize we're holding tension and knots in our body. I know sometimes when I go for a massage, sometimes she does my legs and my legs, I thought they were fine. She touches them and I'm like, ah! <laughs> legs. You can do one at a time or both together. Again, just stroking down the leg. And this time just squeeze, just literally squeeze your muscles. Squeeze and release. Again, you may come across some areas a little bit Tender like a bruise. I know my calf muscles at the minute really need attention. If you find some areas that you maybe want to stay a little bit longer, and again, just notice how that leg feels compared to the other side. So you can get some idea of, of the effect it has. And again, just stroke down the other side. The good thing about self-massage, although I love getting a massage, I absolutely love getting a massage, but having a self-massage is you can do as much or as little pressure as you like. And again, just squeezing. Literally squeeze. So often we don't touch our bodies, do we? It's like, oh, I don't want to do that. And it's like, it's our body, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? And I've been the same. You know, it's like there's something weird or perverted about touching our own body. And we need to get get that out of, you know, it's a load of bollocks. <laughs> our bodies are amazing. The amount of abuse we put them through, and they still do their best for us. And again, just notice how that feels. And you do the same on your face. Just upward, always upward. Don't want to drag the skin down. Obviously, it's better if you've got cream or oil, but you can still do it. Just gently lifting the skin upwards. And just to give you some idea of why you do that sort of thing, just take a second and notice how that side really feels tingly compared to the other side. Do the same. That's why it's always a good idea whenever you put moisturiser on to literally massage it in like this. Just spend a few minutes literally massaging. And massage it up your neck, your throat. Obviously if you want to do this with oil, that perfectly makes it a little easier. And then just Put your thumbs under your jaw and stretch up. Take your hands up to your ears. You're stretching along your jaw lines and you're also stretching your cheeks up to your ears, to your hairline. And just take your fingers, the center of your forehead, and stretch out to your temples and then up a little bit. In the center of your forehead, stretch out to your temples, then lift up a little bit. Then 
because it's good if you've got a headache or something when literally quite often if you've got a headache that's caused by dehydration and your skin you're literally lifting the skin away from your skull and on your ears starting at the top of your ears gently squeeze and stretch the ears squeeze and stretch you're working all the way around your ears squeeze and gently pull when i say gently pull i mean gently pull working all the way around the outside of your ears just gently squeeze and pull them and you will start to feel a nice warm glow in your face And just taking two fingers or one finger, gently start to press and release around your eye. You'll feel the occipital ridge, you'll feel the bone, your skull. When you come to the top of your eyes, gently lift up. And just gently press and release. Press and release. Just working all the way around the eyes. It's really good if you suffer with puffiness in the morning or any time of day. And just gently press and release. When you work along the top of the eye, gently lift upwards. And release. And just to release any tension in the face, we're going to do our lion breath. When you breathe in, I want you to tense all the muscles in your face. When you breathe out, you're going to try and stick your tongue out to your chin and you're going to turn your eye gaze upwards. So it looks like this, you know. You may feel a wally, but we're both being wallies, and it releases tension in your face. So let's do it three times. So breathe in and out. Once more, squeeze. And then you say, ooh, ah. As you do the ah, stretch your mouth as wide as you can. Ooh, so you're working the cheekbones. Ah, now releasing tension in the jaw. You don't have to do the sound effect if you don't want to. You could just do, if you'd rather. Ooh, ah. releasing. Then you're going to try and flutter your eyes as fast as you can. Keep going because you're working the eyes. Keep fluttering the eyelashes as fast as you can. So imagine you're literally working the muscles around your eyes. You're working your eyelid muscles. Just flutter, 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 and be really surprised. Surprise! Squeeze your eyes shut. Surprise! I squeeze shut. Open them as wide as you can. Surprise! Squeeze shut. Wide. I don't know I'm doing high pitch voice. Squeeze them shut and surprise. Once more, squeeze and surprise. Then keeping your eyes open without moving your face, look up as far as you can. Imagine you're trying to look up at the ceiling. And then look to your right. Yeah, try imagine just try and see it as far around as you can. So you're literally working the eye muscles, then look down. So as if you're trying to literally see what's down here somewhere. Then look to your left. Again, try and see as far around the corner as you can. Then look up. Then go around the other way. Look to your left. Then down. Then to your right. Then up. And back to centre. And rub the hands together. You should actually feel the muscles around your eyes working then. Rub your hands. And you get heat in your hands. And your hands can warm. Close your eyes and bring your palms over your eyes. Just gently, not pressing into them. Don't 
squeeze into them just gently over them feel the warmth feel the energy and gently release and just notice how you feel my ears feel nice and warm my face feels nice and tingly it's like a natural facelift thank you have an amazing rest of the day namaste